Hey guys, in this Christmas special, I'm going to tell a heartwarming story, which I think is something important for Christmas time. I think we all should have a seed of hope in our hearts and especially in Christmas time. So that's what I'm going to do with this video, uh, because there has been a lot going on, as you guys know, in the last couple of years. So let's get into it. And by the way, if you can't find any good ideas for a Christmas present, I recommend you to get a doggy like this one. It brings a lot of joy and when life gets complicated, you can just look at the doggy and think about how simple and happy they live life. So if you can't find any ideas for Christmas presents, that's a good place to start. So here's the story that I want to talk about in this video and that is I was watching the Supercross preview show from Racer X Online. And then I noticed in the comment section that the super famous comedian Awaken with JP, he commented on the video, which means he's a Supercross fan. And the response in the comment section is the most positive and loving response I've ever seen in a YouTube comment section. You know, usually in the YouTube comments, you will see a lot of hatred uh, or at least like some sort of like 50-50 mixture. But this was just all positive, good vibes. So let's have a look at the comments. First of all, let's start with Awaken with JP's comment, which is, why isn't Phil in show one? I'm outraged. So that's insider humor. We're not going to go into the specifics of that. If you're a motocross fan and if you listen to the Paul Bemick show, you will probably know already. So instead, we're just going to go through a few of the positive comments that are replying to JP. So the top comment here is, JP, I didn't know you were an SX fan, a Supercross fan, and I totally agree. Next one. JP, you rock. And then next one, JP is an SX fan. Wow, like lots of uh, question marks. So everybody's just super pumped. And somebody's asking, hey, JP, is that really you? Next one, dude, love your show. You're my hero. Please run for president. <laughs> That's a good one. And next one, uh, what if we awake to find out that JP was actually Ryan Filippoto the whole time? <laughs> pumped, JP is a moto fan. Dude, what? Big fan, JP. I love seeing you here, man. And by the way, that was also my first reaction, my first feeling when I saw JP's comment. Next one. JP, is that really you? Another guy says, and then 3.1 million subscribers. I think it is, man. And then the last one. The fact that JP is a Supercross fan just made my day. And hey, that's also how I feel about when I saw this comment. Just like the world became a better place. <laughs> that one of my heroes also a motocross fan, the sport that I love. And in case you don't know um, Awaken with JP, he's not just any comedian. He's actually one of the top influencers worldwide for making fun of all the difficult things that has happened during the last three years of uh, worldwide difficulties. And he's also a beacon of hope for a bright future because he keeps reminding us, hey, we have common sense still. We can tell the difference between a boy and a girl. Uh, which some people even at some universities that are far left-wing um, appear not to be able to do. <laughs> so it sounds funny, but it's pretty serious actually, um, because they will be able to twist this in, in a way that will just turn the world upside down basically. So after going through all these comments, it really shows that motocross riders as a community still believe in common sense, and we are definitely less naive than the general public. And this is something that is required in these times. You could say there's like two levels of becoming an adult person in this world. The first level is probably where most people are at. And that's when you find out that famous sports people, they have sponsors, okay? Now, the second level that not everybody is at is where you realize that not only sports people have sponsors, but also uh, politicians and news companies have sponsors. This means that what you hear on the news are also funded by some companies. And also what politicians say, they say this and that, they are also funded and they also have friends from certain industries, okay? So they are not only working for you, but they are also working for certain industries. So that's becoming an adult 2.0. In the motocross world, we know that when a race winner, he says thank you to this and these companies, or he says that, oh, this and this product is really good. We know that it's simply because he's being paid to say this, okay? So, so this is why in the motocross world or in motorsports, I think in general, that uh, people are not super naive. They kind of know a little bit more about how the world works. And this is something that 
is important for the world moving forward. And it's also like, it's even fun actually, there's like this kind of insider humor. If you watch Pulp MX uh, radio show, for example, you will see that the way Steve Mathis, he makes fun and his um, co-hosts, they often make fun like, oh, now Steve Mathis, he's going to start talking about how good the Yamaha is and Blue Crew and all that stuff. And, and they, it's just like super obvious that he talks about the Yamaha because he's sponsored by Yamaha and everybody knows it and they just make fun of it. Like, okay, Steve, do your Blue Crew thing and talk about your Yamaha. And he's just make like, oh yeah, that's the best. And even though it is a really good bike, don't get me wrong. And I'm going to get a Yamaha myself too. It is the most winning bike in all the shootouts. Don't get me wrong. But also knowing that there is money behind uh, what's being said on the screen. That's becoming an adult 2.0. Okay. To watch the full version of my advanced writing videos and support the development of this channel, click the join button below and become a member. And thereby you will get access to exclusive videos where I go through the most advanced skill levels and also explaining things from a physics standpoint because I have a background in science and thereby studying physics. So I'm able to explain actual riding technique and the mechanics of riding also bike setup in a way that you don't see on many other channels. <laughs> Also, I share my own step-by-step -step methods on how I track my own progress and riding technique development. So if you're interested in that, consider becoming a member and clicking the join button. And if you like tropical island holidays, visit fitcamp5.com for my two-time TripAdvisor award-winning training camp, where we train fitness and action sports together while learning to live a healthy lifestyle and maybe most importantly, have fun at the same time. And if you're really serious about improving yourself, you should definitely check out my full online courses where I share step-by-step -step programs on how I develop my own routines over the last 12 years as a CEO working in four different countries while being a successful competitive athlete with more than 20 years of experience in fitness and nutrition. Check the link in the description for that. And in any case, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Be awesome. Believe in yourself. And see you on the next one.